How is it going, all of you burgernauts, and welcome to the next episode of Kerbal Space Pro 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 Program. <laughs> I am so excited for this episode. This has been so cool. I'm starting off with a tiny time lapse here because I made another trip to the moon, and I didn't want to bother you guys with watching the entire trip up there again because we've done it before, but I just wanted to show you what cool stuff I made off camera. Can I say off camera because I'm actually on camera right now, but I'm not really on camera because it's actually off camera because I'm recording my voice. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the important thing is we went to the moon. We delivered a lot of science stuff up there to our nice little moon base thingy we have going up there. It's it's not really a big machine. I'm actually using the same lander as before. I'm bringing up there another relay just to get another comm satellite. Not sure if we need it, but it is cool having it up there. Like, it, it looks cool. It looks cool to have a few satellites orbiting moon, just because, why not? Um, so, the, the mission was basically just to bring up some of the uh, deployed signs you can use up there. And for some reason, I didn't study it well enough, what I was actually supposed to do up there, because I didn't really bring the right modules. I think the main issue is that I didn't have a an engineer up there to deploy them, so I used a scientist to deploy them. And for that reason, I think that's why they don't work. Because none of them are really powered, so I think it's the power relay actually that I had to, that I actually had to deploy as as an engineer, but I didn't. And it is what it is. We still, we still did good. Nevertheless, we made it into the orbit around the moon. We dropped off that relay. It's now in orbit. We're gathering some science here just to bring back to Earth. Once we actually get back, because I forgot to do that the last time we were here. Um, last time we landed on the moon and went back, we didn't take science records in space. So doing that now and just gonna collect them once we actually get to the moon. I made a tiny mistake and I had to cut the video. And the mistake that I made was when I switched craft after separating from the like the big booster stage or not booster stage, but the, the second stage, main stage, now main stage thing. That we have going uh, when i separated from that i switched craft and then i switched to the separatron instead of the actual craft that i had to steer and i didn't realize that un un until it was too late so i actually had to reload the entire mission and do it all over again because i thought the game was bugged so that is where we're gonna cut to soon you can see us coming in here and then you can actually see me separate and then switch to the separatron and then not the Separatron, but the D the couple of thing. You know what I mean. <laughs> you guys know exactly what I mean. But I also just want to take this opportunity to say that I have never landed this close to a craft before on the moon. Literally never. You, you can see my, my initial attempt here was actually not so good. But the second one I made, which was off camera because I broke it here. Look what I did. Yeah, I, I kind of failed big time there. I switched to the decoupler node thing because that's also a craft for some reason. So... I couldn't steer and then I was like, oh my god, the game is bugged, I have to do it again. So I did it all over again. But here we are, we finally made it to the moon. I'm now deploying all of our new science stuff. Couldn't really figure out how to do it, but I learned in the end. I'm doing it with a scientist though, and that wasn't really a good choice, I don't think. Um, that should have been an engineer, I suppose, maybe, maybe not. I haven't really figured how these modules work just yet. But the important part and the main idea with this little time lapse is just to say that, yeah, I did it. I made it up here. We did some additional progress, which is cool. But let's just uh, get on with the actual video and go into Minmus because the time lapse is actually ending. Great little time lapse there and just triple checking that I'm actually recording now. So let's try again because I visited. Uh, the moon once already, but you know, if you forget to hit the record button, then you don't get a lot of footage from it. So I'm just gonna go there, up there again, and I can show you once we get there that I have been there before. Just so you don't think I'm a scam. <laughs> but this, I know this rocket for sure can bring us up there, so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a problem at all. It was actually surprisingly easy compared to what I expected it to be. So. This shouldn't be too hard as well. I brought Jebediah and Bob the last time as well. Uh, might as well just bring them again to get some extra science or experience rather for them, uh, which will be much needed so that we can get. Oh my goodness, we are speeding out there already. Uh, we don't want too much drag, I don't think. I honestly don't know. <laughs> but I think someone once told me that 
it can spin your build out of control if there's too much drag, so that's just, yeah, make sure that we don't have too much. Uh, speed looking good, fuel looking good, let's click the maneuver node, see, everything is looking good right now. Quickly approaching the 26,000, 27,000, speed is still very good, apoapsis is growing as it should, uh, periapsis is climbing towards positive numbers, so everything is actually looking good. We're going quite fast right now, I don't know if we're going too fast. Probably not. We're probably good. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> if we can settle on a, a 90k apoaps, there we go. Then I'm a heavy guy. Then we just have to get up here, get ourselves into a nice stable orbit, and once we are, we can start shooting for Minmus. I know it doesn't really matter at all to get a nice stable orbit at the beginning, but my OCD gets so triggered if we don't. <laughs> so we better get it. Alright. Quickly approaching our a burn note here so let's just burn away and not forget to separate before we have to drop our boosters we don't we don't want to leave any space debris so we're gonna cut the boost here separate and launch the next stage and almost get the periaps just going there we go that is all right for now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't spin out of control. Let's deploy the fairings and have a look at what we brought. Why is this one? That's a weird angle. It's, it is all good. We, we just need a few solar panels and we have some on the craft like overall, so we can still get some electric charge. We got what we need. So next mission is just to find Minmus. So as we are coming up on Minmus here, I want to see if we can do it on a note because if we can actually hit it on a note then we don't have to adjust our orbit too much yeah now nah, that's never gonna happen but if we jump all the way over here we might actually have to wait some time before before we get an encounter that is decently close isn't it oh look we can actually get an encounter over here that's awesome I know from previous experiences that we have more than enough boost to get like f f fairly close to it without stressing too much so let's see I, I think 1 million might actually be the closest we can get but it doesn't really matter that much 500,000 we'll take that for now we can always fix it later on we're coming in quickly onto our burn note so let's go ahead fire up the engines and burn away we have quite a lot of like speed that we have to gain so we have to burn for quite some time, but as you can see, we have fuel enough to burn full speed for 95 seconds still, so we have more than enough for what we need. Let's hope for a pretty clean encounter here. Our orbit is expanding so nicely. Look at that. I actually think we're going to get a very good encounter. Oh no, did we? There we go. Moon periapsis. 514. Let's take that. Perfect. So now we just have to drift <laughs> for such a long time. Bye bye, Earth. Bye bye. Wait, what? Who? Who said that? <laughs> Never mind, we got a freaking connection to Minmus once again. This is so awesome. Now we just have a lot of speed that we need to kill. Oh, whoops, that went fast. Uh, we can get in a pretty low orbit here. Minmus is quite hilly, so we don't want to go too close because then we might just, in our orbit, drag a big mountain or something. And that's that's not... It, it's far from ideal, so let's not do that. But let's just go over here. And it's time to burn again kill some of that velocity get into a nice orbit around minmus see still coming in this is gonna be perfect and kill that almost Oof, so close 35 right now 30 20 there 19.5 that's also okay <laughs> Let's just do the same thing here again. Oh my god, our orbit speed is literally next to zero. We're going to get a very close encounter now. Look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. Did I overshoot it? I didn't. Perfect. Go down to retrograde once again. Beautiful. And look at that. We have the planet right next to us. This is so good. We are very close to the apoapsis or periapsis now. So let's do one final burn here to adjust. And bring in 
our epilapsis. And once these switch positions, which it did there, boom. You can actually see, wow, that's so cool. That That's our uh, <laughs> previous craft sitting over there. I want to see if we can land somewhere around here now. That would be sick. All right, so I set up a note here that will somewhat take us close to where I think is a good landing spot. But being that I have no clue what I'm doing, then it might not be. But let's see. Where is Minimus even? There it is. Looks like another frozen lake thing that we're gonna land on. We also did that the last time, which worked pretty good, pretty good. A nice solid surface to land on, and that's the most important thing in my opinion. Let's get it to ground level here just so we can follow it a bit better. We can get closer. There's literally no gravity here. I learned that the last time, so there's no fuel needed in order to kill your velocity, which is kind of cool. I think we can go to somewhere like here. And then we gotta be quick when we switch to the other vessel. Let's try to kill some of that first surface velocity. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, we can't boost anymore. We can just drop a bit because we have a lot of fuel still for this one. And I actually wanna see if we can somewhat just stall in the air, decouple, and then activate the other spaceship. We're coming in close. We are coming in so close. 800 meters. We might be dropping a bit fast, but I think we can We can do this. All right, let's just get the landing gear down immediately. 500 meters. 400 meters. 300. Oh, shoot. Okay, kill some velocity now. Nice. Look at that. Perfect. 200 meters. Let's stay around here. And then let's actually try to see. I think we can just land this, to be honest. If we do so, we can decouple afterwards. <laughs> and then we have another fuel thingy sitting on top of Minmus. Should we ever need it? Or we can just destroy it later on. That might actually be the most environmental friendly thing to do. We don't leave any debris. We don't leave any trash around. You know how the environment is the most important focus on everyone's lips at the moment. So, of course, we got to live up to European standards and everything else. That was a smooth touchdown. So let's activate these engines. I honestly do not know if that will help us at all. Because once I decouple, we actually get control of the wrong ship. That's a bit of a problem. Did I activate this one? I did. Activate this one. Activate this one. Alright, and decouple here, and look now, decouple, bam, bam, that's the one we want, boost up just a bit, did we just destroy the protobodyne, we did, whoops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that, let's just leave that, that's a sign of us being here, more than one time, which is cool, and we have touchdown, and a little bit of bounciness, and we landed. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it gonna blow? It's probably not gonna blow up. Nope. Beautiful. So let's do it all over. <laughs> EVA, we have a mission and we have to plant a flag. So let's do that. Plant a flag. Let's get it. Should we call this the TB Minmus Landing 2.0? I think that's appropriate because I think that was the name of the last one as well. <laughs> Let's go observe our stuff again. Oh my goodness, the gravity here is something else. Lock the pressure data. Keep experiment. Take data. Yes, please. And the temperature. Lock the temperature. Keep experiment. Good thing. We also have to do this when we are above space. That's very important. Finally, go observe the mystery goo. Keep experiment, collect data, remove data, restore this one, uh, observe materials bay, and keep the experiment, collect the data, remove data, and restore. Awesome. So he now has all the stuff we need. Let's grab an EVA report, keep the experiment. Wow, we are gonna get so much from this. Which also tells me that I think it's about time. Whoops. No, 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 no. Get down. 
<laughs> it's about time that we actually um we have to upgrade our research department because if we don't then we're gonna be stuck with a lot of science that we can't use so that will probably be our next goal but for now let's say goodbye to minimus we have everything we need we need a crew report keep that experiment as well and let's boost away And we're back into a little orbit around Minmus. This is so cool. I can't believe we actually made two missions, which went rather well, if I should say myself. I think this mission has had enough excitement. Bolt that ship again. And let's get back to Kerbin. Found a very, very sweet spot here that we can burn for, because that gives us a periapsis of 400,000, so we only have to burn a little more to get inside the atmosphere, and just let the Kerbin atmosphere do the rest of the work, which is so cool. So let's go ahead and burn away, and say goodbye. I feel like we're in an acceptable orbit right now, where we can easily go and burn away the rest of the periapsis, so that we can get inside the atmosphere and actually just air break the rest of the way. If we can get something like 45k, then I'm a happy man. You know, then this has been a successful mission. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> this is so cool. And literally, I'm telling you guys, there was no practice included on that first run. We're getting into that atmosphere once again. Actually, about now, it's time for us to ditch those. Looking good. Do we have everything that we need? We took all of the data. We took everything. I think we can only do one thing from here, and that's say goodbye to the rest of the stuff. Our order speed is kind of high, and I'm a bit scared temperature-wise because of that. But let's just pray that... Oh, no, 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 don't... Good. <laughs> We're probably going to watch our engine up there blow up in a second. Oh, my God, slow down, please. This is going to heat up a lot. Yep, there we go. It blew up. Please don't overheat. Please don't overheat. Not after all this work. Is it cooling down? It's not. It's not. Oh my god, this is scary. Is it going down? My god, this is stressful. We're literally pushing it to the limit right now. <laughs> Please. Please stop burning so hot. It's going down. It's not going to fool me. It, I see it. it. It's going down. It's going down. All right, heat's gone back down. Uh, the RCS thrusters are still holding up. They're actually ex acting as extra aerodynamics. So that is... Indeed, great. Altitude, 700. Then we don't have to wait for us. Here we go. And I know I have literally way too many parachutes, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. <laughs> I can never not land in water. We're literally gonna land in water still. There's such a small, tiny pool of water, and we still hit it. That is kind of impressive, but... I mean, we're back. We landed on the freaking moon or should i say minmus rather down to the last 10 meters and we freaking did it successful to minmus once again we now visited minmus two times planned the flag on minmus we got that done beautiful let's see how much science we're gonna get from this wow would you look at that oh my 585.3 science we have a thousand science right now and 800,000 money. That is insane. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. There we go. Now we can research a lot more. I want to research this because then we can get more uh, big probes and stuff. Communitron. That's a lot of cool things here. What else can we get? We can get some big new cool looking engines. I honestly want to get that as well. So we can get some new command pods here as well. I think we should grab that and then let's grab the big engines up here. Nice. Nuclear propulsion, the atomic rocket motor, that is cool if we have to go far away. But I don't feel like we have to just yet. I rather want to get that's some big solar panels, some fuel cells. What are these? Some new communitrons. We got some decent ones, didn't we? We can actually get that here. We should get that too. And then we have 300 left. And then I honestly only think we have two things left up for grabs right now. I mean, there is actually multiple things we could get, but I want to get this. Oh, and then we don't have any more. So let's keep it at this. Then we have the survey scanner. 
uh, some scanning arms. We have a lot of stuff now that we can use to gain extra science and hopefully make our life a little bit easier when we discover various planets. But that was such a cool run, so I think we should end it off here. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the 10th episode of Kerbal Space Program. We are making so much progress. I think it's about time that we get some satellites up and maybe even visit Duna, but next episode, we're gonna lay out a lot of satellites to actually start scanning the Earth for... I don't, honestly don't know, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> so see you next time. Bye.